Welcome to the second day of Biostock Life Science Summit. Today we are joined by Taginta and the CEO Per Nolén. So uh, welcome, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. So Taginta is an oncology biotech company developing targeted antibody therapies for aggressive cancer. Today Taginta is a subsidiary of the stem cell company Xintella but a process has been initiated to spin out Targenta as an independent entity. So this presentation is a first flavor of that independent Targenta. So with that I will move to some highlights. Targenta develops two products, two first-in-class antibodies, both targeting aggressive cancer, triple negative breast cancer and glioblastoma, and both are targeting our novel and unique oncology cancer cell marker, Integrin Alpha 10 Beta 1. We have also a robust patent portfolio covering the use of Alpha 10, such Alpha 10 antibodies for the treatment of aggressive cancer. The business model of Taginta is rather simple. We focus on the early stages of drug development, essentially preclinical drug development with the intention to outlicense or find a partner before starting clinical trials in cancer patients. So what are the, these lead cancer indications? We focus on triple negative breast cancer and on the brain cancer glioblastoma. These are two very aggressive cancers with extremely poor survival. Still, it's large cancer populations and today there are essentially no effective drugs out there. So in a summary you could say there is a large market potential and a huge medical need. But why would Taginta's products be effective? That comes down to the target, to integrin alpha 10 beta 1. One factor is the expression, high expression in aggressive cancers and in triple negative breast cancer and glioblastoma in particular. You can see some examples in the slides in this section. If we look at the target in more detail, it's called Integrin Alpha 10 Beta 1. It's part of the Integrin family. Integrins in general are cell surface receptors that allow cells to attach to the surroundings. And that's really important for their survival and ability to migrate. In the context of cancer, that means it's important for the ability of a tumor to grow and to metastasize. Integrin alpha 10 beta 1 is particularly interesting because it's highly expressed on a lot of aggressive cancers. It's expressed on the cell surface of such cancer cells and you can see a beautiful example on the right hand side Alpha 10 beta 1 glows on the surface of such cancer cells in this slide. And this is really important for at the same time there is no or virtually no expression in normal cells which allows for a very selective and targeted treatment of such cancers. Validation is extensive today. We have, and I showed you just before, and here's other slides on breast cancer and glioblastoma. What you see in dark brown is expression of alpha 10 beta 1, integrin alpha 10 beta 1 in such cancers. So we have validation in triple negative breast cancer and glioblastoma, but also in other indications such as prostate and pancreatic cancer. And there is external validation in other cancers like melanoma, lymphoma and sarcoma. So let's look at the products. We have two products today. We have TARG10, we have recently selected a lead candidate and this is a function blocking monoclonal antibody that is developed to inhibit tumor growth and tumor metastasis. And this product has just moved from preclinical research to preclinical development. Essentially meaning that we now will develop a preclinical regulatory package for this specific compound in order to take it to clinical trials in the future. The other program is TORG XX. That is a program where we intend to develop an ADC, an antibody drug conjugate, which is an antibody armed with a highly potent chemotherapy toxin. This is a product where we don't yet have selected an 
lead, but that's about to come quite soon. I will start with giving you more information on TORG 10. So this is a function blocking integrin alpha 10 antibody. And this receptor allows for selective targeting of cancers expressing integrin alpha 10 beta 1. We have already shown that we can suppress cancer cell proliferation and migration. And we've also shown that we can reduce tumor growth, both in glioblastoma and triple negative breast cancer. And there is a quite remarkable graph shown on the right hand side where you look at the growth of glioblastoma over time. And in gray, you can see the growth of the tumor after treatment with a control antibody. And in blue, you can see the greatly reduced growth after treatment with an integrin alpha 10 antibody. Integrins are especially important for migration of cancer cells. And by that, they're also important for metastasis. And we have also shown now that our function blocking antibody can reduce and inhibit metastasis in such models. To the timelines, TARC-10, we have selected a lead candidate. On that, we have also demonstrated proof of concept. And we are now initiating preclinical development. Next year, there is a lot of important milestones. We will start cell line development. Cell line development sorry. That means initiation of the first part of production of the product for future clinical trials. We will also conduct safety assessment and start generating a robust preclinical data package for future clinical trials, which are set to commence in 2024. Before that, we will try to identify and find a partner uh, either through outlicensing or partnership. In parallel, we are developing the TORG XX program in order to generate an antibody drug conjugate against the interwin alpha 10 beta 1. On the right hand side, you can see a, a picture of what that is, an antibody drug conjugate. In grayish blue, you have the antibody and attached to the antibody or some highly potent toxins, looking like green stars. We have now evaluated a number of toxins and antibodies and have generated these antibody conjugates. And right now we are evaluating these for both efficacy and for safety with the intent to select the lead candidate. So let's look at some of the data. First, we have confirmed that this product can induce programmed cell death. And if you look on the right hand side, it's quite impressive. Very strong induction of programmed cell death in a tumor model when you treat with an interwin alpha 10 antibody drug conjugate, but no effect whatsoever if we compare to a control antibody drug conjugate. Also, we have shown efficient internalization of the ADC. That essentially means that once the product binds to interwin alpha 10 on the surface of the cell, it will be rapidly taken up into the cell, release the toxin inside the cancer cell and kill the cancer cell from the inside. We have also demonstrated a reduction in tumor growth and with that we are now quite confident that we will be able to select a lead candidate early next year in Q1 2022. So with that I will move to summary. In Q4 we will now start the preclinical development of TARC-10, a recently identified lead candidate. Also, we will spin out Targinta as an independent company and the process has been initiated. And we will tell you more about that quite soon. So early next year, TARC-10, TARC-XX, sorry, and uh, we look forward to identify a drug candidate for that uh, product and program. We also look forward to change the name to something that you can say, uh, and we will come back with that in Q1. Also, we will next year in the spring initiate cell line development, which is the first part of production for either one or both of these products. So with that, I'd like to thank you and uh, for this introduction of the emergence of Targenta as a new oncology biotech player. Thank you so much. Thank you for an interesting presentation. Thank you. Uh, so which of your previous experiences will be particularly useful in the role as CEO of Targenta? 
I think my experience is uh, very relevant for the role in Taginta. I come with a lot of experience from uh, leading the development of anti-cancer antibodies from discovery, from ID, all the way through to clinical trials. Also leading the transition of a company with a very strong research focus uh, to a drug development company in a public setting. That will become useful. And uh, can you say something more about the spin out of uh, Taginta from Sintela? Yes, I can say that the process has been initiated and we will spin out Taginta as an independent com company. Uh, the details will be communicated, uh, but there are still some decisions to be formally taken, so we'll come back with that very soon. And how do you view the potential for Taginta's cancer therapies? I think it's great. Uh, we have a unique oncology target with functional importance in aggressive cancer. We have a robust patent protection and high quality products. So there is a great potential to improve survival for cancer patients. Yeah, and we look forward to following Taginta's journey. And uh, thank you for coming here today, Pat. Yeah, thank you for having me.